How often do we pause to ponder the evolution of infant feeding? Let's embark on an intriguing journey, winding back the hands of time to unravel the history of formula feeding. In the early days, dating back to ancient civilizations, breastfeeding was the only means of feeding newborns. If a mother was unable to breastfeed, a wet nurse was sought, often within the same family or community. This practice was common until the late 19th century, when the first artificial infant food was introduced. Henry Nestle, a Swiss pharmacist, created the first substitute for breast milk in 1867. It was a mixture of cow's milk, wheat flour and malt flour. This marked a significant milestone in the history of formula feeding. By the early 20th century, the invention of evaporated milk further revolutionized infant feeding. This was easily accessible, affordable, and had a longer shelf life. It became a popular choice for mothers who were unable to breastfeed. However, it soon became evident that cow's milk and evaporated milk lacked certain nutrients essential for a baby's growth. This led to the fortification of cow's milk with vitamins and minerals in the 1920s and 1930s, making it more nutritionally similar to breast milk. In the mid-20th century, the scientific community began to understand the importance of proteins, fats and carbohydrates in a baby's diet. This led to the development of more complex formulas that closely mimicked the nutritional composition of breast milk. By the 1960s and 1970s, formula feeding had become quite common and many mothers were choosing it over breastfeeding. This was due to the convenience it offered and the social stigma that often accompanied breastfeeding in public. However, in the late 20th century, a shift occurred. Health organizations worldwide began promoting the benefits of breastfeeding, leading to a decrease in formula use. Despite this, formula feeding remained an essential alternative for many mothers. Today, formula feeding continues to evolve, with numerous options available that cater to a variety of nutritional needs. From cow milk-based formulas to soy-based and hypoallergenic formulas, there's a suitable option for nearly every infant. To summarize, the history of formula feeding is a fascinating journey. It began with the necessity of wet nurses in ancient civilizations and evolved into the creation of the first artificial infant food by Henri Nestlé in the late 19th century. The 20th century witnessed further advancements with the fortification of cow's milk and the development of complex formulas. Despite the promotion of breastfeeding in recent decades, formula feeding remains a vital alternative for many. This intriguing history serves as a testament to the ongoing efforts to ensure the health and well-being of our youngest generation. It also highlights the importance of choice and the need for various feeding options to cater to diverse circumstances and needs. Hence, whether a baby is breastfed or formula-fed, what truly matters is that they are nurtured, loved and adequately nourished.